I am now in central Afghanistan's Bamiyan province, but behind me is the site of giant Buddha ruins. Recently, local cultural workers have received assistance from several young scholars from China. With advice and help from those Chinese scholars, most of the grottoes behind me were strictly numbered and installed with instruction nameplates. The Chinese scholars have also built rooms for local cultural workers to sell tickets and safeguard the cultural heritage. In addition, they also organize food distribution and training activities for local poor kids. They attract poor kids to attend the training activities on cultural heritage knowledge by distributing bread. They wish the training activity can arouse the local people's awareness of the cultural heritage. Thanks to the help from a group of young Chinese scholars from Peking University, Lanzhou University, Wenzhou University, Central Academy of Fine Arts, and Friends of Dunhuang, two ticket offices, which also function as cultural heritage conservation workstations, were completed and put into use in May this year. زیر آفتاب سوزان و همچنان از طرف زمستان زیر برف و باران بریم دوست ما چین سپورت کرده میرم رای ما همکاره کرده بر ما چود کرده دگه ساختی از این غرفه یا محل توزید تکید بر ما هم بر ما هم برای گردشگر ها کار خیلی ساده و آسان ساخت Bamiyan province is famous for many cultural heritages particularly the two widely known giant Buddhas the 53 meter and 35 meter tall Buddha statues with thousands of caves and monk statues around them, are more than 1,500 years old, reminders of the Buddhist civilization in the region. In 2003, the cultural landscape and archaeological remains of the Banyan Valley was listed as UNESCO World Heritage Site. Nonetheless, due to years of war and economic hardships, caves in Banyan Valley were not numbered and cleaned for a long time, let alone being presented with an introduction. The situation that badly hindered heritage protection and further archaeological research has been reversed these days.